This is the Mnet Reads RS2 Plus. Before you can lens away with this GNS receiver of Mnet, you of course have to set it up. And before you can set it up, you have to do a first start of this GNS receiver. So what we need to do the first start is of course this GNS receiver and I will use a tablet. Uh, in this case it's a Samsung tablet with the app ReachView 3 installed on it. So let's see how the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus looks like. Unboxing it. Here it is in the case of the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus. And then here it is. The Amulet Reads RS2 Plus. It looks very like the Amulet Reads RS2. So let's turn it on to see how it works. There is this power button and you press it till the lights burn next to it and then it will turn on the LED lights and it will move and move. And when they stop moving then it's ready to start the process of the first start. So now the LED lights stop moving. So what we need to do now is first to go to the settings. Then we go to Wi-Fi. And if everything would be fine, there is uh, the Wi-Fi of the Mnet Reads RS2 Plus DNS receiver. And yes, we can see it. So now we have to fill in the password, which should be Mnet Reads with all small then we click connect now it's connected it's checking the quality of your internet connection and we want to connect only this time then we can go to the reach you 3 app And here it finds right away the reach and because it's the first start it will tell you to set up reach. So we click on it, set up reach and then it says updater and then it asks for Wi-Fi. So now we click on the plus and we have to fill in a Wi-Fi network. After that you fill in the password of the Wi-Fi network and when that's done you click connect. Now this Mnet Reads RS2 Plus will connect to the Wi-Fi network that we filled in. So let's see if that went OK. We click on a refresh and now here there is the reach and we click again on setup reach now we can give it a name the reach is fine so we click on skip and then it says updates and there is a new update available which is version 29 but it says the state of the charge is lower than 25% so we have to connect the charging cable and try it again. Of course there is the charging cable, the USB-C cable in the suitcase of the Mnet Reads RS2 Plus and you can connect it here in this port. And at this end of the USB cable, you can connect in any USB adapter. And now you see this light blinking, which means it's charging. And we can continue by clicking the button Try Again. Now the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus will be updated. It's first downloading the reach firmware.
So now it's installing the reach firmware on this Amulet Reach RS2 Plus. Now it says the Reach firmware 29 successfully installed. Reboot to apply changes. So we click on the button Reboot and go to the app. It says Reboot will start in 1. And as you can see, the Amulet Reach RS2 Plus got off and it will restart by itself again to reboot and then the new firmware version 29 in this case will be installed on this MD3 RS2 plus after turning off and on several times by the MD3 RS2 plus GNS receiver then it will just stay on now when we restart Reshoot 3 then you see the GNS receiver, the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus, and you can set the complete GNS receiver up for working with an Android device or with an iOS device. In the coming videos, I will tell you how you do both. So for sure, that's very interesting. You, if you don't want to miss those videos, then subscribe on our channel. In the meanwhile, you can watch this video because it's very nice to watch. Enjoy!